Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to talk to you about challenge coins. Now, if you're unfamiliar with challenge coins, challenge coins are largish coins that are made by various individuals or organizations that function kind of as a signature. Most of the presidents for the last several uh, decades have had challenge coins. A lot of armed services have challenge coins. And the 501st Legion has several challenge coins, the Star Wars costume organization of which I am a part. In front of me here today, I have a few just by way of example. This one is from my detachment in the 501st Legion. It's a flagship Eclipse challenge coin featuring the clone emperor from the comic book and book series as flagship. Uh, this is a 501st Legion 20th anniversary coin right here. You notice it's a little bit smaller. And this is a 501st Legion coin that is an unofficial coin. This is a Knights of the Old Republic coin that was designed and issued by a 501st Legion member. Now, the thing about challenge coins is organizations can issue them, but individuals can create their own. I'm in the process of creating my own challenge coin, which is what I wanted to focus on in this video. So, as I mentioned, a challenge coin can be a signature or a collectible item. Uh, the challenge coin that I'm proposing to make, I'll show you right here. So, let's talk about the design. You'll notice on the face of the coin, you have a Darth Nihilus from Knights of the Old Republic, the Lord of Hunger, uh, which is my approved costume within the 501st Legion, wearing a fedora. Now, this is a little bit off-putting, but it's kind of central to some of what you've seen on this channel. That fedora is the hat that I use to spin, around, or to, uh, spin and do some of my performance videos. You've probably seen it before. This design was actually taken from a picture of me at a local con, uh, that has been converted into a graphic that can be used on a coin. So this is actually me that you see on this coin. The text that you see going around the outside is Sith text. Uh, the actual text reads, if you could translate it, you've been hit by, you've been struck by a force cannibal. Now, uh, that's a line modification of a line from Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal. I thought it went well with the fedora. It was actually suggested by a user online. I liked it quite a bit, and so I stuck it around the border of this coin, sort of as a tagline. On the other side of the coin, you're going to notice my channel logo that you've probably seen quite a few times. It's been updated a little bit since the last time. I've changed the script. It still features the D and the C for Darth Cephalus. It still features a couple of Lovecraft symbols that I've used uh, over and over again, both versions of the Elder Sign. If you're uh, into, into Lovecraft and Cthulhu mythos, you probably recognize that. Uh, and it features a different saber than it used to. These are both Darth Nihilus sabers, which are what I've been using quite a bit lately, and they've kind of become my signature saber. So you have my redesigned logo on one side, you have a performance picture of Darth Nihilus in a fedora with the text on the other side. So that's the design on the coin run, and I want this coin to happen. What you've been seeing in this picture is a product mock-up that was designed by the people who are, or who are going to be making the coin. Now, before I can have them make the coin, I need to have there be enough demand for them. Now, obviously, I want a few myself to be able to hand out to people and give out for promotional purposes, but I'd also like to give my audience a chance to get something interesting, what I think is a pretty cool design, and what I hope will be somewhat collectible. Uh, these coins that I've shown you right here are available in two variants. There's a black variant and an antique silver variant. Uh, both variants, uh, it's going to cost about $6 to get the coin. Now, if you're local and you meet me and you want one, $6 is about what it would cost, unless I was giving you one for some reason. If you'd like it to be mailed, there's going to be a shipping charge associated, and I will go ahead and put a description of that in the description for this video, along with a link. If this coin is something that you're interested in, that you'd like to help me get made, uh, just go ahead and ask me questions if you like. The link down there is available. Uh, if you include the money for the coin and the money for shipping, PayPal will give you the ability to include a note, and on that note you tell me how many coins you're looking for, uh, whether you want the black or the silver or one of each or two of each or whatever, and you include your shipping address. Now once I get the pre-books for these coins, I'll send them out, I'll have them made, uh, and I'll ship them out to everybody. If I have any questions, I'll have your contact information and I'll be able to ask them. So for the record, I'm not meaning to use these coins as any sort of money-making process. My objective here is to get enough interest in these coins and orders for them so that I can afford to have the coin run made. Uh, if there is any profit beyond that, I will be donating that profit to the Oregon Humane Society. Uh, so you can rest assured that 
if there is extra money to be made, it will be going towards a good cause. You're either helping out the Humane Society if enough of these things sell, or at the base level, you're helping me out in order to make these coins, and in the process, you're getting kind of a cool design on what I hope will be a kind of collectible coin. So if that's something that you're interested in, again, just check out the description on this video. Feel free to ask me questions. If you do end up ordering coins, then thank you for helping me make this possible. And if you don't, then thanks at least for watching the video and hearing me out on this one. Please join me back on this channel for more reviews, uh, tutorials, uh, costume, or costume videos, and I will see you then.